Are we recording, Brian? Right now? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> yes, I'm in pajamas. Yes, I have wet hair. Yes, I have socks with slippers. But I'm having a baby next month. And if you, if you expected me to get somewhat vertical today, this is all I have to bring. This is all I have. That's all. That's my formal statement. Welcome, Welcome back. back! I am Bliss. I'm Luke. I'm Trin. And we're watching Game of Thrones. Season th four, episode <laughs> eight. We're in the home stretch. We're, yeah, we're closing out well over four. halfway through the show, mm -hmm. which is huge. Season four has been stupendous. It's been my favorite, hands down. I really like this season a lot. Just because of Oberyn. Oh, mm. yeah. Just yeah. Love him. He's my favorite. Well, not my favorite character. I'm liking on names. <laughs> because I'm next to Tyrion. Tyrion. Yes, I was like, what is his name again? I'm tired. Tyrion is probably will always be my favorite, but he Oberyn, quickly, yeah. quickly jumped up there to the number two spot. Yeah, facts. Be sure that you like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want the full uncut episodes, we upload those over on our Patreon, so subscribe today. Do it. This episode is sponsored by Fresca. I love how you only drink it here, but you know, love it. But I love it. But you it. never get it anywhere <laughs> else but here. It's the light of my life. Well, I don't see why it matters. Grey Worm isn't interested. None of the unsullied care what's under our clothes. Mm -hmm. He was interested. What? I believe he was interested. Maybe one ball survived. Did the slavers castrate the boys? Did they take all of it? All of it? The... The pillar and the stone? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know your race. <laughs> Haven't you ever wondered? She's like, no, you sick of Yes. <clears throat> okay. Foreshadowing, she is going to find out. Oh, nice. For us. What a gentleman. No, I don't love him. Oh. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't remember teaching you the word precious. Juradi Andal, he teaches I. He teaches me. If the masters never cut me, I never am unsullied. I never stand in the plaza of pride when Daenerys Stormborn orders us to kill the masters. I never am chosen to lead the unsullied. I never meet Miss Sunday ah. from the island of Nath. I love them. For today, I am sorry. I'll shoot. Do you still have balls? Please tell me something's there. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. <laughs> Would you like to see it again? <laughs> you think they know that? Ooh, are there Krakens in this show? Not very bright. Ooh. Are we going to see a Kraken? Oh, a Kraken. <laughs> Kraken? Son of Balaam. You do look very much like mm -hmm. a I wonder if he's going to snap out of it at all. I, I kind of just hope he dies soon. I'm kind of yeah. <laughs> like done with him. Until when? Always. Fionn Greyjoy, or whoever the fuck you are. What the hell are you muttering? What? 
The answers are like we would like to go home. If we yield, we live. Is that what he says on this plate right here? Yes. Have your men raise the white flag and open the gates. You're going home. Aw, oh, man. I bet that's not true. Oh, oh wow. I'll form that a fashion thing. Sad, but true. Mm. Traditions are important. But I'll be without our history. Hey? Yes, my lord. Will we go home now? My name's not Elaine. It's Sansa Stark, eldest daughter of Lord Eddard Stark. Lord Royce, we met when you came to Winterfell. You were escorting your son Sir Waymar to the wall. Sansa Stark? You tell lies right to my face, you little worm. Lord Baelish has told many lies. All to protect me. Since my father was executed, I have been a hostage in King's Landing. A plaything for Joffrey to torture or Queen Cersei to torment. She said she didn't want to live anymore. She stood on the edge of that moon door. And he tried to reason with her, promised her she was the only one he had ever loved. But she stepped through those doors and she was... It's not your fault, sweet girl. a thing or two about how to stay alive around here. Oh, remember that comment? Yeah. No. Who would you have us back to Lord Baelish? Rob Stark is dead. I'd have you back. Robin Aaron, Lord of the Vale. Robin Aaron is a sickly little boy. Sickly little boys sometimes become powerful men. When they War eat up, solid they food. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Simple. <laughs> That's the hand of the king. See, I told you I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Wait, who is the hand now? Tywin. Tywin. Oh. He said, kill her and you can have your spot back. Or not. What's this? A royal pardon. Signed by Robert Baratheon. and leave this city. If you found in Marine past break of day, I'll have your head thrown into Slaver's Bay. Okay. He's kind of close. It's pretty light outside. That was a plot to get her away from him. Get him away from her. Certainly. He's my new least favorite character. Scary. With me. Has there been any word from Locke? No. Now tell me, what is your name? Ramsey Snow. 
No, not Ramses, no. Open it. From this day until your last day, you are Ramsey Bolton, son of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. This would be a touching moment. <laughs> he wasn't a sick If it wasn't him. <laughs> If it was literally anyone else. <laughs> literally? If it was John. Anybody else. Yeah. Oh, no. John will never have that. It's true. Oh, my gosh. That's depressing. Little did we know that the when they said goodbye to each other at that fork, they would never see each other again. No. <sighs> A pity. First time I saw you, you were just a child. This behavior is just revolting <laughs> Is it worse than the flayed man? I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Why did you help me? If they'd have executed you, what would they have done with me? I don't know. Neither do I. Oh, she's, she's learning how to survive. I'm the man you know than the strangers you don't. And you think you know me? I know what you want. Do you? Family, honor, and their portion. I think once again, she's gonna get that close to a sibling. Yep. Who would pass the bloody gate? The bloody hound, Santa Clegane, <laughs> and his. Traveling companion, Arya Stark, niece of your lady Lysa Aaron. Then offer my condolences. Oh, so they're gonna turn around. Lady Aaron died. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, poor hound. He's like, damn. <laughs> this keeps happening. I can't get rid of this termite. <laughs> <laughs> That is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> oh, man. Wine always helps. I forgot all this is about literally, this. This is literally all I've been waiting for. How did <laughs> I like, forget yeah, about this? I know. I Oberyn's going to fight the mountain. Olsen Lannister, of course. Wet nurse dropped them on his head. He left them simple. Simple? <laughs> he used to sit all day in the garden, crushing beetles with a rock. Nothing <laughs> 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 made him happy. I think made you happier. You think being tormented from birth would have given you some affinity for the afflicted? On the contrary, laughing at another person's misery was the only thing that made me feel like everyone else. I woke up crying, <laughs> weeping for their shattered little bodies. <laughs> I tried to stop all at once. It was twice your size. It just pushed me aside with a coon. Kept on smashing. With a coon? Every day. Until that mule kicked him in the chest and killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I was really wondering where this was going. Damn. <laughs> that guy's life was something else. What do you think? You shouldn't drink before a fight. You learned this during your years in the fighting pits. <laughs> I always drink before a fight. It could get you killed. It could get me killed. Today is not the day I die. Ooh. Hot. Ooh, his chainmail glitters. I love him. You're going to fight that? I'm going to kill that. Oh. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. Size does not matter when you're How tall is he? Back. Mandalorians show up. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, why is this? Oh. <laughs> I'm cute. Looks like me as a six year old with my life. I finger. also do that after drinking. Revelia <laughs> Martel. You it's killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. Oh, same vibe. For you? It's happening, guys. They're doing it. I know, it's, uh, there was not much fanfare.
I hope he just doesn't like that. He does have an Ego Montoya vibes. I know. Did he just poke him? There he goes. There he goes. Oh my. Oh. There he goes. Ew. You killed her. Oh. There he goes. This is not. This is. It was too fast. It was too short. Yeah, they're too gonna little. come up with another reason. Uh, yet you haven't confessed. Say it. Look out. Oh, Say man. Oh, man. Elia Martel, you raped her. You killed her children. Elia Martel, who gave you the order? Who gave you the order? Say her name. You raped her. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it. Say her name. What? Oh? Uh, yeah. You made that well known. Tell you an answer. In the name of King Tommen of the Hadsparathian, first of his name, you are hereby sentenced to death. Freaking told you. What the heck? There was no way over it was gonna win that! Ryan, you said he was more here more than one season! I did. I misled you. <laughs> and he's so proud of himself. Bug this. <laughs> Man, that was pretty brutal. Are, is that seriously all we get of Oberon? That was really brutal. Unfortunately. Yeah. That was hard to watch. We should have expected. So disappointing. Switching but I mean, asking questions. There's no way that he was gonna make this all mountain. Ah, <laughs> uh, there has to be a hound mountain moment. There's been too much of pointing. Of course, to that, that would happen, you guys. It's so wildly <sighs> irritating. Yeah. Okay, but how? Man. Oh look, it's over ah! him. <laughs> Reborn. <laughs> that was hard to watch. Dang. He was that close. Did what did we learn like today, kids? Head in? Yeah. I'm so glad I didn't watch that. Yeah, it was yucky. It looked the way it sounded. Is that actually possible? Yeah. I guess if your hands are strong enough. Man. <laughs> 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 Man. Like Here's Brian with Kitty like. June. <laughs> <laughs> that is what oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked your back. <laughs> Man. Oh, Here's what I learned. Just, just, just kill him. Just do your business. You know? Yeah, it's all the Why we got a, taunting. why we got a fanfare. And, yeah. Yeah. It's true. Well, Pride well, cometh before thankfully, squish. Thankfully, Mando justice. season three is coming out in like four I'm weeks. I'm so happy so for you. I'll get more of Pedro Pascal. I can see why he still is one of is he still is your one of your favorite characters. For sure. Because he yeah. gives you so much hope. Like he gave us hope. Yeah. He's not my favorite character for anymore. For several yeah. not even episodes. Two. So I yeah. understand because nope. the introduction of him was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, absolutely. He's dead to me. And that was dumb, but <laughs> into the show. <laughs> to be expected. Yeah, that was. I if Tyrion dies, it. It then I'm stop. I'm done. Yeah, but Tyrion's not gonna die. I also feel that very strongly in my heart. So well, know you know what? You need to shut this. up because Maybe he'll go to you. The wall. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at him going to the wall. I wouldn't be mad at Tyrion and John holding hands. 
Anywho. There still, I think, are a lot of possibilities where he could escape from this. Yes. I'm in but denial. I think Oberyn's coming back. I think it's just as likely <laughs> that they just give him, like, an unsatisfying death. Yeah, I still kind of stand behind that. I think Oberyn was shape-shifting guy, and... Oh, Trent, you're, you're saying you back. could see how this show would give Tyrion an unsatisfying death because this show is I'm, like, 50-50. I think it's very likely that he could escape and have an unsatisfying death somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> or, yeah. If he have dies, one here where we're all like, oh! Uh, if he gets executed in this next episode, I'm walking out in the middle Perfect. of the back, So Well... But they're a gonna lot like, riding on that one. Last like this video and subscribe to find out if I'm here for the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> We're all on the edge of our seat. <laughs> we, yeah, man. What do we think about the Jorah situation? I don't really care. <laughs> Open's dead. <laughs> and I'm pissed about it. Luke. <laughs> Luke. Goodness. So Luke is pouty. <laughs> I think... Brian lied to me, and my second favorite character is dead, so yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> I think Jorah will be given an opportunity to... I don't... I don't... I don't think he's given up on Daenerys, and I it's think gonna he be... might have an opportunity to win her trust back. I think that maybe he won't, but this is his opportunity to now stir some things in the pot. Like, this is the connection that they're making between her and King's Landing. Okay. Across the sea. So maybe he's going to try and like redeem himself. Mm. Might not completely earn her trust back, but he is going to do something like to, to make that connection, sort of. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it's either when she gets there, or I see that That's like smart. politically start like moving some things around to like make way for her or whatever. But I think he's going to try to redeem himself, and maybe she won't accept it fully. That's smart. But I think there's a purpose to him being like I think he is going to go back to either King's Landing or somewhere. Like, in order to make way for her, in a in a sense, fair enough. Or prepare people, or I don't know. All right, kids. Are Luke is pouting. Time? Trent is <laughs> plotting. I'm not and talking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm With, pregnant. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will see you next time. Fare thee well.